Do you know what happens in a cesarean section? It is abdominal surgery to deliver your baby, so it's called a cesarean delivery or C-section. A C-section is necessary when a vaginal delivery poses too much risk to mom and baby. It can be planned or done on an unplanned or emergency basis. In a C-section, we make an incision about two centimeters above the pubic bone, and then an incision in the uterus which allows us to deliver the baby. We close everything up from there with sutures that dissolve. Some women know that they will need a C-section. We do these typically around 39 weeks, but sometimes earlier if you have a medical or pregnancy-related indication. When a C-section is planned, you may have a morning or afternoon delivery. If it is scheduled for the morning, we encourage you to drink 24 ounces of Gatorade the night before and that morning up to two hours prior to your surgery. You must stop eating six hours prior to your surgery, so you should skip breakfast. If surgery is scheduled for the afternoon, stop eating six hours prior, but you can drink clear liquids up to two hours prior. The rest of the planning involves cutting down the normal risks associated with surgery, one of which is an infection. We want you to scrub your belly with some antibacterial soap the night before or the morning of. We ask that you don't perform any hair removal, waxing or shaving, as those things can actually increase your risk of infection. You will show up two hours prior to your surgery so you can get admitted and meet the team that will be delivering your baby. Your nurse will monitor your baby's heart rate and assess your vital signs. You'll have blood drawn and an IV placed. Next, you'll be positioned comfortably on the bed and a catheter will be placed in your bladder. You'll be covered in warm blankets with your belly exposed, which will be cleansed with a special cleanser designed to prevent infections after your surgery. You will be covered with drapes so you won't be able to see the surgery. The pediatric team will come in the room just in case your baby needs assistance to breathe. As soon as your baby is stable, we'll place it on your chest for the critical initial skin-to-skin -skin bonding time. You'll be cleaned up and transferred to the recovery room. You can expect the recovery period to last about two hours. You'll be transferred to your postpartum room as soon as your room is ready. Unplanned cesarean sections occur in much the same way, but everything happens much more quickly with more doctors and nurses assisting. Occasionally, in urgent situations, patients need to have general anesthesia. In this case, your support person can't accompany you to the OR, but they'll be able to meet you in the recovery room. The average length of stay after a cesarean section is two to four days. You will need pain medications afterwards. We start with Tylenol and ibuprofen, but some women do require narcotics. This is a big surgery, so we encourage you to take care of yourself afterward. We recommend no heavy lifting for up to six weeks postpartum. You will have little band-aids across your incisions which will stay on for seven to 10 days. A little bleeding is normal, but if you have any significant bleeding, any redness or drainage, or any other concerning symptoms, please contact your UC Health OB provider right away. Don't do too much too quickly. You should be able to go walking within days and by four to six weeks, you should be able to do some light exercise. We recommend waiting until six weeks postpartum before starting abdominal exercises. Your vaginal bleeding may go on for six weeks afterward, but after the first two weeks, the bleeding should be minimal. Your UC Health OB team will work with you on a recovery plan so you and your baby can stay healthy and happy.